Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Boogie back again with a new video. Hope you guys enjoy. So, like every Wednesday, we're going to go through all the team lists of the weekend, my key matchups, and then we'll roll through how my fantasy team looks up for the weekend. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, like and subscribe. I appreciate all the comments and uh, all the feedback that you guys are giving me. Uh, let's get straight into the video. The first game of the weekend, we got the Eels versus the Broncos at Combank Stadium. My key matchup in this game is going to be Mitchell Moses versus Adam Reynolds, both two very big keys to their squads. So, uh, really excited to see how this game goes. Uh, other key matchups, you got uh, Paddy Carrigan versus Ryan Madison. Uh, Paddy Carrigan coming off that amazing uh, stint at state of origin so i'm excited to see how he plays for the broncos and this one i'm gonna go broncos 1 to 12 i think the broncos will be able to just go over the top of these guys next game we got the dragons versus the seagulls and my key matchup in this game is going to be cooler versus lomax uh, i'm excited to see how both these young centers go uh, lomax a bit more experienced cooler is starting to warm into the seagulls at the moment so uh, i'm excited to see if he can get some open space and see how far he can go with that but um Zachy Lomax, I think he uh, he needs to help out Benny Hunt as much as he can at the moment. Uh, both keys to the uh, Dragons winning. No Moses Sully in this game, which sucks. They've got Jackie Bird playing 13. I'm excited to see that. Uh, with the Seagulls, pretty much the same team. They're going to roll out everywhere. Davey is holding out Schuster still at that spot. So I'm going to go to Seagulls 13 plus in this one. Next game, we've got the Knights versus the Roosters. And obviously, my key matchup in this one is Kalen Ponga versus Teddy. Uh, Pretty much the origin fullback competition is going into Clubland, and um, I'm excited to see how they go. Other ones, you know, Anthony Milford versus Luke Keery, who's coming back off head knocks with Luke Keery. Uh, Joey Manu's going back to centre, which is a crazy one, as he's been playing really, really well for number six. But uh, when you got Luke Keery there, it's going to be tough. Uh, it's tough either way. I don't know. Comment down below who you reckon should be that number six jersey. Loyalty-wise, you'd go Keery. He's been there. He's done that. Um, but over the last couple of weeks, we saw Joey Manu really shine there. So in this one, I got the Roosters 1-12. to I know not 13 plus. I think 1-12. to I do. Next game, we got the Wilds versus the Raiders. And my key matchup in this game is going to be Adam Fenua Blake and Tohu Harris versus Josh Papali'i and Joseph Tafane. So uh, I strongly believe that Joseph Tafane has been in uh, career best form at the moment. Um, and he's coming up against our big boys. Uh, other players to bat, play off the back of that, we got Shawnee and all that. Bit underwhelmed that I'm seeing Reese Walsh at 14. Uh, I would love to see us just end the season out with him, um, you know. And obviously Chanel's not going to be there next year, so it's not like we're building for the future there. So I'm um, like, and for me, Chanel is definitely not a fullback. Uh, I prefer him at a six or at a 14 role, mainly because just under the high ball, like he he doesn't look as comfortable as what a fullback really should. I don't know. That's just my opinion anyway, but. Uh, other players to watch, Xavier Savage in this one. Um, he's been really warming to this this role uh, and really taking over for the Raiders. They've pushed Chance to come to the Warriors because of that. So, um, yeah, overall, I think the Waz, are, are, you know me. So I'm going the Waz 1-12, uh, to but it's going to be a really, really tough game. Uh, I know the Raiders are going to be really up for it. Next one, we've got the Panthers versus Sharks. My key matchup is going to be Nathan Cleary versus Nico Hines. First time this season we're going to see uh pretty much both full strength squads come up against each other um and they see what the sharks are made of this is going to be the real tester after the last couple of weeks um we saw see connor tracy's playing on the wing because no sionic katoa uh, which is uh, pretty unfortunate with the sharkies but overall you know fuck that panthers squad man it's just going to run out top to bottom looking amazing so uh, i'm excited to see this game see how where the sharks sit uh i'm going to go panthers 1 to 12 um, but, you know, I'd love to see the Sharks really give it a massive crack. Last game on your Saturday, we're going to have the Rabbits versus Storm, and my key matchup in this one is going to be the halves pairing, mainly because for the Melbourne Storm, well, the spine is so important right now, especially with Papi out. So the rest of the spine is Munster, Jerome Hughes, and Harry Grant. Um, and with the Rabbits, obviously, it's going to be Damian Cook, Ilias, and Walker. So uh, I really want to see... Oh, and Latrell. You can't pull out Latrell there. The, the, the Rabbits are so much better with Latrell in it, so... Overall, I think the Storm, surely they can't go th uh, four in a row. Is it four in a row now? Surely they can't, man. Surely. You look at that top to bottom of that Rabbit squad, though. That Rabbit squad looks really, really nice. Cam Murray might be a guy I'll look at trading in for the run of year, uh, end of the year run, too. So, yeah, I'm going to go Storm 1-12, to only because I really believe that they're going to have to do something. Other weird ones, they got Wishard playing wing. I'm not too sure about that, when, especially when you just brought in um, Tonema, Tonema Pea back from uh, rugby and that. 
I'd love to see Tottenham appear, get a run out there, but you know it is what it is. Grant Anderson is sitting at 14, so maybe that's going to be a late switch before kickoff. First game Sunday, we've got the Bulldogs versus Titans, and my key matchup in this game is going to be Aaron Booth and Jeremy Marshall King. So the reason why that, um, number one, Jeremy Marshall King has been one of the most improved hookers in the comp uh, by far. He's been playing really, really nicely for the Doggies for the last, uh, pretty much I'm going to say this year. Um, and for the Titans... This is their hooker that they should keep around. So Aaron Booth, I've watched a lot of him, um, especially, you know, shout out Bloke at a Bar and all that, that shouted him out. Uh, if you check his highlights out, he's a really, really good player. Uh, he's been under people like Cam Smith and that at the Storm system, come over to the Titans. Um, and last week he made the Titans look really, really nice within the ruck. And then giving Aaron Clark a, a chance to get that 13 role. Um, when Tino comes off and Aaron Clark tore the Broncos apart in the middle. So I'm excited to see how that runs out. I'm going to go the Titans 1-12 to in this one. I think the, the Doggies are going to be good. I think both teams are going to be freaking amazing. And it, at Combank, that it's going to be Doggies home games. So the Doggies fans are going to turn out. But I think the Titans team here is a lot better than what people think is like this team as they line up. So Tanner Boyd at 6, um, and Aaron Booth there. For feeders getting there now, he's uh, starting to click in the gear. Another little late in there, we got Jaden Campbell that's sitting at 17. So who knows, maybe there's going to be a late switch for Campbell to go to fullback. So get excited for that. And last game on your Sunday, we got the Cowboys versus the West Tigers. And my key matchup in this game is going to be Jason Tamalolo and Jackson Hastings. So Jackson Hastings last week was given the 13 jersey. Uh, whether you agree with it or not, I definitely don't agree with it. But um, he did play pretty well. Uh, I'm, I'm happy for him that he did. Like, I knew he would. It's just more of the fact of, like, that's not his preferred. And, like, when you have... I think he's a better half at the moment than Lukey Brooks. Uh, I think Lukey Brooks is a bit down on, like, confidence and form. Um, I'll put Jack o Hastings with Adam Dewey, and I think that team changes a lot. But, you know, that's the way the Tigers go, and this is how it is. Another really good one that I really want to watch out for is Luciano Leilu is actually starting at uh, prop, so... It's a weird position for him, but I don't know whether that's going to be late switching there um, to bring him in second row. But I'm really excited to see how he goes because if you look at that forward pack for the Cowboys now, Cohen Hess has been in actually career best form at the moment compared to, well, not career best, but as good as what he has back when he before he played for the Maroons. you got Robinson at 9, uh, Luch at 10, Tommy Gilbert who played amazing in Maroons. you got Nanai who's a starter at the moment, everyone knows him, and Everyone knows Lolo. So uh, that forward pack so far is freaking amazing. And I, I, see the, I see the Cowboys doing a good number on these guys, uh, especially at home. So I'm going to go Cowboys 13+. plus. So I have made a couple of trades, and I didn't think one of them I would ever have to do, but I have done it. And it's more so I really want to make a really nice push for the end of home. And as we know, I like to have fun on this channel. I like to be different. So um, I have traded out Maxi King to get Paddy Carrigan. Uh, I think Paddy is going to be in really good form coming into um, the Broncos now for the end of the year. Uh, and I think he's going to really stand up. And uh, I'm really excited to see how he uh, takes his game to a whole new level. Uh, a lot of players, when they come off origin, really take that next step. So, And he's been a really good uh, performer in fantasy at the moment. And I think he's taking a lot of that run off uh, someone like a Payne Haas and everything like that. Payne was definitely a person I was looking at, especially coming back off injury. That he's going to be full strength in that. The only thing with Payne is... Um, the way the Broncos were before with, I don't know where there was injuries that like his minutes and everything were taking a hit, but he's not having to take that massive load anymore, which was the reason why he was getting such great fantasy points and that could be proved wrong. Let's see how I go this week. Um, maybe he could be a guy we bring in later on, but at the moment, this is the way we look. So the other trade in, we had Papi. I had to trade down. Um, well, I think it was, yeah, he was a trade down and get Latrell Mitchell. So um, the reason why I did that mainly because I was looking at tinkering and trading up and getting someone like a Munster or something. Uh, but I think if I trade down and get a Latrell and maybe keep some cash around so I can put it in other areas because to the end of the season, I want as many guns as possible. Uh, and I think Latrell at the moment, I'm just going to have to sit with him because he's been in really, really like good form for fantasy, especially when he goal kicks. So that's my reasoning for it. Uh, comment down below what you reckon anyway. So the team for this weekend, we got Teddy, Latrell, Hines, uh, Isaac Tungo, and Kula. Nathan Clear with the captain at halves. We got Scotty Drinkwater. Our edges, Tohu Harris, Adam Elliott, who uh, Adam Elliott's been an amazing form fantasy-wise as well. Uh, I'm not sure how long he'll keep it up for, so definitely check his form for the next couple of weeks. 
Um, but like at the moment, he's doing enough to keep a spot in my squad at the moment. Big Jace Tamalolo, Eddie Carrigan at my front rows or middles. And then Harry Grant is being my hooker for the rest of the year. My bench hooker, I got Reed Marnie. Then we got Cam McGuinness, Aaron Booth, who scored 47 last week. This is the guy I was saying about, like, I really, really think he's going to take that um, hooker spot uh, and play a lot of good minutes. And he got decent score for the amount of minutes he played last week. Jakey Avarillo that's sitting on my bench there. He's just going to be building cash. I do see shipping him off a little bit later. He has done really well for me for when I picked him up. Um, I think he's going to give me another 120K or something on top of that. So I like that. We got Bolle, Kennedy, Fidel, and Wishard all in my emergencies, all looking with the green ticks they're playing this week. Hopefully, Kennedy can keep raising his cash. Uh, Fidel hopefully can get into really good form. Um, Bolle, I want to see him score a little bit better. Um, but other than that, um, we're looking pretty okay. Like, you know what I mean? As I said before, like, uh, it's not the rank I really wanted to be sitting at. Uh, definitely, I think the the keys for this year, what happened to me was Adam Fenor Blake and all that has really uh troubled what I, I had you know i stayed loyal with a couple of players that really just didn't kick on but um you know we all learn from next year and um we'll just get better and better from it but do get excited coming towards uh august time we're gonna have the uh fpl or the epl's fantasy league so i'm excited to do that i'm gonna um start a little fantasy league with that uh so we'll start knocking out those fantasy videos and stuff like that have some fun with that uh, NBA fantasy, so I'm excited to do that for the first time. And I've been doing NFL fantasies for years, like for a while, so doing the drafts and everything like that. Um, so this year I want to do that and have some fun on the channel. And uh, you guys can, you know, come and join me every single week, see, uh, talk a little bit of sport, talk a little bit of what's going on, NBA, EPL, NFL. Uh, and I want to do some MMA tipping coming towards the end of the year when I find some time and stuff because, you know, I'm still working full time and that. But Hope you guys enjoy all the content that's coming through. Um, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you reckon. Uh, comment, you know, your favorite team of the weekend, your favorite uh, key matchups and stuff. And uh, yeah, peace out.